Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So, been a minute. I know, only three videos in and I already suck at posting, but it's fine. I've been busy, so busy, but I'm home for a couple of days, so I decided to make some time. So today I'm going to be doing my February wrap up. So far I've read six books in February. It's like February 20th right now. I'm doing the same thing that I did last month where I'm filming this way too early, but this is just when I have like a convenient time to film it so it's what we're going with. I've read six. I'm in the middle of a thicky which I would talk about at the end but for now I will just go through the books that I have read. So yes I'm not really gonna go into synopses of these books because I don't want to. I'm kind of just because I want to make this quick. I'm just gonna tell you why I liked it or I didn't like it. I think I liked most of these so yeah. Let's get into it. The first book that I read this month was From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Almentrout. From like the first second I heard the synopsis of this book, I knew I would love it. And I did. It got a four and a half stars out of five from me. It would have been five, but like the relationship dynamic got a little weird towards the end. So it got like knocked down, got knocked down a peg. A little predictable, but I still loved it. I thought it was so entertaining. I really like Poppy as a main character. She's really fun. But I think my favorite character in the whole book is Kieran. He's just so like, you know, well, maybe he's not so much that way in the first book, but like in the second book, because I I also read, uh -huh, second book I read, A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. That book, I think I, I gave it like a three and a half stars, four stars. It was good. Like towards the end, I thought it was really interesting, but it got like a little slow in the middle. And I was kind of like, okay, we've been in this same place for like three fourths of the book. Are we going to go elsewhere? I don't know. We did eventually. And I'm so excited for A Crown of Gilded Bones, which comes out in April, I think so very soon. Yes, as a whole, it was very entertaining, very steamy, just a fun read for February. The next, well, I'm just gonna talk about these as a whole because I finished one earlier in the in the month and then I finished one like two days ago and that is The Iliad and The Odyssey by Homer. For my Greek literature class they were kind of entertaining. I don't know. I didn't rate them because they were like school reading. I really want to read the um, translation by Emily Wilson I think of The Odyssey. The cover is beautiful but also I just want to read a translation by a woman. So I think out of the two The Odyssey is probably my favorite. It's a little more like high fantasy is nowadays but there's just like a lot of like motifs that you know are taken from this and used even now so it felt a little more updated almost i don't know the iliad was kind of boring next i read mary poppins by pl travers well i listened to this in an audiobook before it was like negative three degrees every day i would go for walks frequently and i would listen to mary poppins this book it was something it was just so strange. But it was also kind of just like a fever dream for half of it. I really don't know like what was going on there. Or what I, it just confuses me. It was entertaining. I gave it a three stars. I know there's a bunch more in like the Mary Poppins series, but I'm not gonna read them. The next book I read is How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories. I keep calling it How the King of Elfheim Came to Hate Stories. I don't know why, but I've called it that in like my last three videos and that's just like not, it's not it. Um, but I gave this book a five out of five. I really liked all the short stories. My favorites were obviously the ones with Jude and Carden in them, but I also liked the ones of him when he was a boy. And then there was like a recurring story that kept like changing as he grew older, which I thought was an interesting dynamic. Then the last book that I've read so far in February is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I've read a lot of V.E. Schwab, but I have not read her middle grade series, which I think the third one is coming out sometime soon, maybe the beginning of March. Um, so I wanna read both of these so then I can read that when it gets released cause I thought that would be fun. But yeah, this book was like super quick, very fast paced, very short, but I really liked the main character. I liked her dynamic with her best friend, Jacob. I just thought it was really fun. And I love a good middle grade every now and then. So I was like, yes, Victoria Schwab and middle grade <laughs> let's get it. So those are like all the books that I've completed so far in February, but I also want to talk about the book that I'm currently reading. It's The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This book is so good. I'm reading it rather slowly though, but that's not necessarily because I'm not interested. I just want to take my time with this one. I love all the characters. 
the storyline is very interesting. I'm about halfway through it right now and I'm very excited to see where this all goes. I think there's a sapphic little moment in here which I'm also excited for. Like I think I see where it's going but also what do I know? The only downside of this book is it's a pain in the ass to carry around. Um, I carry, I would carry like this book and this book around for like a couple days when I went to work and my back was not having it. But other than that, it's a gem. I'm feeling a four or five stars on it. Very exciting. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below. Subscribe, whatever you feel like doing, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.